I'm Marty Stratton, executive producer on Doom Eternal. Uh, Hugo Martin, creative director on Doom Eternal. So you guys showed off some amazing gameplay here of Doom Eternal. And you kind of announced the Doom universe. Uh, one thing I think you guys did a really great job of in 2016 was telling a story with a, a voiceless hero and really not a whole lot of narrative going on. You could seek it out in the codex or whatever. Uh, when you're talking about building a Doom universe, I was just curious, are we going to have that same mentality to storytelling that you had in the previous game? Yeah, uh, I mean, there's what we call it the A story and the B story. The A story is your basic objectives, what it is you need to do, and that'll be super interesting and totally, obviously, a part of the Doom universe. will go to fantastic locations. We just want to make sure that we're taking you to cool places. Last time you just went to Hell and Mars. We're going to go to a lot of other places this time. Um, and then there's sort of the B story, which what we would consider to provide the... Uh, that's where you f uh, provide uh, a greater context for the people you're talking to and the why behind some of what you're doing and the history behind some of what you're doing and, and uh, just overall to provide context for the player. And that stuff tends to be optional. So you can really uh, fill in the gaps on the entire spectrum and the, the entire timeline of the, of, the, of the Doom Eternal experience and, and, and uh, the timeline of the, the Doom universe, as we call it, uh, if you take the time to explore the environments and find old secrets, for sure. Yeah, we want, we want people to, to feel as... We're, when when we get so excited about the game, it's 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 the gameplay, but it's also because everything, as we make it, has meaning. We we create the meaning for thing and we know, things, and we we know that internally. We want to make sure that we're exposing that, and and I think it's it's as players, uh, you know, as as players ourselves, or uh, you know, people playing Doom, we want them to be in on it. You know, we want them to feel like part of of what that Doom universe is and be excited about what's to come and know that, you know, when, when you see something in one of these games, it may relate to something in, in you know, years down the line. Uh, that, that's, that's exciting. I mean, I think that's the kind of thing that, uh, that inspires you to, to be part of something, you know, day one when the game comes out, to want to be part of it, to want to be part of the conversation online. That's what we love. We're part of it all the time. We want to expose that to, to fans. You know, uh, another huge announcement was that you're going to announce this, you're, you announced a, a kind of raid aspect to gameplay. I know you're not really detailing much about it. I'm just curious what games you may have looked to for inspiration for that kind of a mode. Oh, I'm shameless. I love Bloodborne. <laughs> I don't really care. I mean, Bloodborne, Dark Souls. You know, I, I like Bloodborne better than Dark Souls, but they're both fantastic. Um, and and certainly uh, it feels really appropriate in Doom. I mean, it's in um, it's in a couple other games too. I think it's in um, Left 4 Dead, but also uh, uh, the zombie one. That's a really good. Um, that's getting a sequel now. Um, the one that we just played. Yes. The the one about night. Dying Light. I'm sorry. I love that game. Dying Light is awesome. Um, you know, it's in, there's there's a version of it in there too. But it, it, uh, as soon as you put it in Doom, and again, we're not going into details, and we feel like uh, it just has its, its own flavor, you know, because it's with our enemies and our speed, the speed of our combat and our environments, so it feels really unique, you know. But yeah, at a base level, it makes the campaign dynamic, both for the people invading and, and, and the, 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 the invadee. Um, it makes a walk down a hallway when you have invaders in your level that much more compelling because you don't know where they are and you don't know when they're going to come out and that's awesome for everybody. It's also just one of, one component of, of kind of an overall goal to, to make the Doom gameplay that everybody loved from 2016 and, and you know we know they're going to love in Doom Eternal. Make that a social experience, and experience, give them the opportunity to do that with their friends. We're also developing a, a PvP component. Um, the same thing we're not we're not really talking about right now, uh, but it is something we're developing internally. We've invested those resources internally to create a, a PvP component to, to dive into this invasion. It's very Doom, uh, you know, different than than what we did in 16. And uh, I think I think people are gonna. It's awesome. <laughs> well, you know, we're at QuakeCon and multiplayer is a huge deal. Uh, you know, one other gameplay game, okay, and then we'll wrap this up. Uh, you internet you introduced was this meat hook and this. Uh, you know, it's funny you guys frequently referred to combat in Doom 2016 as push forward. I almost feel like this is pull forward with this meat hook and uh, you're introducing climbing, all sorts of other verticality elements. You talk about just how crazy the pace of this game is going to be, what gamers can expect uh, if they love 2016, how different it's going to be because you made the Shackney's Game of the Year 2016 
you know, how are you guys going to double down on this and make something even crazier for us to enjoy, uh, you know, whenever this comes out? I, I think one of the things that we love is that, and we tried to show this in the in the gameplay that we showed, is that Doom has many gears. You can you can play it at, at many different speeds. So even the gameplay we showed, we, we kind of started off where things were very digestible, but then we literally had our best player in the office uh, who plays mouse and keyboard, increases the FOV. That second gameplay uh, clip, he, he played it as, as fast as he possibly could. And, you know, his thrill of playing the game is playing it like that. My thrill of playing it is not quite that fast. I'm, I, I like to play it fast. But I think the fact that the game has all of those gears um, and you can, you can have fun at, at many different speeds is really a strength of the game and something that players can look forward to, that we're, we're not compromising on either side of that. In fact, we're probably making it even more accessible uh, through some of the things like playing in, playing Invasion, playing as a demon is, is way different than playing as, as the Slayer. So um, that broad spectrum is something that I think we're really proud of and we try to, to make sure that we've maintained all throughout. I mean, I think um, you definitely don't want the same experience, though. Even though you say you do, like anybody, any myself included, I'm like, man, just make another Robocop and, and it should just be like Robocop and then somebody does it and you're like, it's kind of boring, you know, nothing like, new. yeah, nothing new. So, I mean, it... The main thing is that the, the level of aggression that the player feels, that they, they feel very aggressive when they play Doom, that will be intact, you know, and, and then uh, we're just giving you different ways to experience uh, that, that type of aggression and, and the, the sense where you can take the fight to the enemies. That's core to the Doom experience, you know. Um, so that, that'll be there, but in a variety of different ways. Will the Archfile be able to revive demons? I can't say right now. Ask. Okay. Can, you tell yeah, can you tell everyone to do it for Shack News? It's our motto. Our motto is do it for Shack News. Can you tell oh, everyone yeah, to do sorry, it for Shack News? Sorry. Do it for Shack News. Do it for Shack News. Oh, yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks.